Hello everyone! Welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a little behind the scenes of shooting a campaign. How I do it and what goes behind all the stuff that you just see on Instagram. We have quite the setup going on here. This campaign is for a skincare brand. So we have a little close-up of my skin going on here. And then we have just like the regular front. So I am uh, gonna have to try and film this and get all the cameras <laughs> ready. We will record. We got it! This was the first shot. There was a little bit more to this video than just this. I have now put on a bikini because the theme of this campaign is to remember to apply sunscreen throughout the day. The weather is so nice today, so Zach and I are gonna have a little picnic. But I have just sat down because I would like to do just a very light makeup. I love these kind of campaigns where you kinda can be very creative. Zach went to a festival last week. We also have like a whole list of stuff that we need to sort out and, and what better way to do that than sit in the sun. This campaign will already be out when you see this video actually. So you can jump on my Instagram and check it out if you want to see what it's about. Lastly, we will set my brows in place. Okie dokie. Now I look a bit more alive. We also cannot forget sunscreen on the body. We do not want to get sunburned. Also, look at this match. I love it. I am going to prepare some snacks and look at this. There's not a single bad strawberry. Ugh, that smell. And then we have some melon. I think we got the shots and now we just have to wait till it's uh, the evening because then I also <laughs> oh, bless you I have to do a little um, night time applying the moisturizer and stuff I'm so happy with it. It turned out really good. I think I'm very excited to edit it. Hello, my favorite people. Excuse me, sir. Are you confused? You don't know how to scare me? Hi. We are on the way to pick up a package. I'm very exciting package if I must say myself. Not really. 90 packs of instant noodles. <laughs> So the trick is if you buy things in bulk, <laughs> then you get it for more, way cheaper. Good morning guys. We have made it to Tuesday and this morning I am going to a another breakfast event. I'm saying another because I went to a breakfast event in my last vlog as well. But it's currently 8.47 and I have to be there at like a quarter past nine-ish and it takes me like 15 minutes to walk there. Hey guys, we are at the event now and we're looking at such a cool style. I'm gonna show them.
We're gonna, okay, this is great, but tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna be sitting at Tomorrow in China, epic. which is the best place in Copenhagen. I've never been there. <sighs> because I'm getting picked up on a boat after by my study group. He has a boat. We're gonna be in a so boat. So we're just gonna be like, okay, see you, bye. And then just, <laughs> <laughs> boat. I'll get Zach to rent a boat and then I can do the same. Zach in a little treadle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are done at the event now. And we are meeting up with oh Zach my God, we're to go for a little coffee, a little business meeting, a little ice matcha. Yeah. We're taking pictures. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> she likes. <laughs> she likes. We sat down on this. Cafe by the lakes, and we got some iced coffee. Hello, guys. We are home, and Zach and I randomly went into this vintage store. This is so not the season to buy this, but I looked for a jacket like this all winter, and it's like a long, fake fur coat. And then you can like close it up here. Oh, I feel exhausted just wearing it because it's so freaking warm. But look at this. And it was so cheap as well. Jesus Christ, guys. So long story short, we get on the meeting because um, I got like an email confirmation and I just understood it as it was like an online meeting, which I thought was a bit weird. So um, I totally misunderstood that and um, they were late and they got on the call and they were like, oh, we thought that you were gonna come to the like office. And then I was like, oh, whoops. But I'm back home and I have the next meeting in 15 minutes. I have to figure out all this by myself. I'm so bad at like technical stuff like this. I'm trying to install soon and I don't even know if you're supposed to do that, but it's happening. Oh, oops, what does that mean? Oh, jeez. Um, um, can somebody help me? Oh, half code. Look at me go. Uh, nope. Okay, now you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was so stressful. I had to like change and find something that's like tight fitting, so I just put on like. Workout clothes, the stress is done. I am now gonna relax because my head is like, I'm overwhelmed. The last little meeting here was for a model agency in Milan. For now, I am gonna let myself relax. Good morning once again, everyone. Today we are going to an event and um, we're having a little bit of an anxious morning. So Saik is so kind to bike with me there because um, I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. Also, I'm wearing this tute. Just realized it looked like I was naked. <laughs> we need to get going and um, then uh, pray that it's gonna go well. I survived guys. So it was really cozy. Arlinda and I came a bit late. We came like in the middle of everything and we had to be very quiet. Just uh, stay there for a while and now I am gonna bike back. I'm very proud of myself for actually sh showing up. I was not feeling it this morning, but I made it and we survived and uh, yeah, nothing happened. I have <laughs> been so tired today, so we've just been having a bit of a chill day. Now it's dinner time and we are on the hunt for the best burgers in town. And um, the word says they might have a new burger. They do. I love burgers, especially from... <gasps> oh, Eden Jacks. They always make these like handwritten messages. It's 
very cute. It's very cute. The thing about these burgers is that everything is vegan. It's my favorite burger yeah, in this in like in Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the new cheese is good. Oh my days. Cheers. Cheers. Good? Hey guys, the last time you saw me, I was making pancakes this morning. Zach and I have been very much in our like work modes, so we've just been working all day and been very productive. But now we have to get outside and get some fresh air because we're going to an event. Um, but yeah, I think we're actually ready to go. Are you ready? See. Si. Usually I don't post. So, we are home again. That event was so hectic and like the music was so loud and there were so many people and I just got a little bit stressed out. I think we were there maybe like for half an hour and then we decided to go to Fapo, which is like the best pasta place in Copenhagen. You have to wait a little bit for a table, but it's worth it. But I think we're gonna um, go to sleep now and uh, see you tomorrow. It's Friday! Today, Zach and I are going vintage shopping. We've had quite the week, I would say. We're so lucky to have the jobs that we have and we can just choose whatever-ish we want to do. <laughs> so I'm very excited for today. Yep, 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 yep. Our usual thrifting area in Copenhagen is Nørrebro, I would say. Specifically Elmegel and Østerbogel, they have some really nice stores. Keep in mind that everything is very expensive, so don't go thrift shopping in Copenhagen if you want, like, cheap stuff. We have just sat down at Quilt to get some lunch because we were feeling a little bit hungry. I ended up buying that dress. Also, that uh, vintage store usually is pretty expensive, but this one was only 250. What a steal. 